Okay, hey guys. Uh, welcome back. Let's do some Okami tonight. And also some Sonic Forces. Who knows? Let's find out. Hey, Roachcore. Long time no see. <sighs> How you guys been doing tonight? Oh, I don't think I switched the BRB. Oops! Maybe that's for the better. There's some slightly spoilery stuff on the home screen still. Let's do this. Hey, Circaboon! Okay, reckless safety man. I keep expecting this to be something, but I, it's just a skippable opening. I'm good. Just been writing a review and tweaking some stream stuff. Cool. Speaking of tweaking stream stuff, I actually haven't been doing any of it, but I've been thinking about it because the fucking S crackles have still been driving me fucking bonkers. Anyways, so last time we did Okami a couple, about a week ago again, I think, um, we finished another dungeon, we got another new ability, Isun said some really creepy stuff, and so now I'm kind of expect- yeah, and then we did- we we're like right in front of the, um, the village that we gotta go to. And also this guy's all creepy? That part of it I didn't remember, but I know now. Perfect weather for a festival, if you ask me. Gee, it's kinda dark. Uh-oh. Roach is saying yes with, like, two S's. What is it that you're anticipating, dude? I'm Scalewood. Also, fuck! Oh no! This is ominous. This doesn't sound like festival music to me! Uh-oh. Yeah, me too. What are these ominous strings? Hey, what's everyone doing in front of Susano's place? You come out of here this instant, Susano! You have some explaining to do! How could you have drunk the sacred sake meant for gonna go and go and go? <laughs> Huh? Susano did what? You can come out, Susano. We're not mad at you. I am. He better get what's coming to him. The time has come. You must have had some reason to drink the 8th purification sake. He did what? Uh-oh. <laughs> the little shot where, like, Amy, like, huh? Err? Uh, this is bad. Why would you drink all the 8 purification sake, Pops? Uh, why do they call it? Are there 8 of them? Because that hasn't really been made clear to me. I always thought that it was just like a singular thing, and then they just put an 8 in there for no reason. But I, I guess that makes more sense, doesn't it? I don't care if it's so special! What the fuck? I couldn't help myself, I just had to have a... <laughs> well, it wasn't any old sake! This is kind of turning into Luigi's voice again. <laughs> this isn't any old festival! It's been exactly 100 years since Nagi and Shiranui's great victory. I completely forget what voice Mr. Orange got, and that's a damn shame. We've even been blessed by a glorious full moon. <laughs> Did you not know Orochi had eight heads? Is that why it's called that? I knew that, but I never made that connection. Thanks, I'm a dumbass. How could you have done such a despicable thing? Easy, it's Susano. Leave me alone! I don't care about Nagi and his Fleabag friend! Hey, that's me! I am Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived! You there isn't a drop of eight purification sake left? I don't know, I still don't- I just think that the name doesn't flow well, that's all. Susano was acting like a madman when he returned to the village. He drank all the sacred sake and then holed up in his house. Wait, who's Mushi? Oh right, all your sacred sake, Kushi brood is gone. Why do you have to go and do that? This is terrible. I mean, a purification sake is what saved the day in that legend. The timing couldn't be worse, with the return of Orochi and all. Oh boy, here comes that slow text scroll again. Eh? 
The dreaded Orochi. It's all my fault. I'm to blame for all of your misfortunes. But we knew that much. That's right, you fool! Do you realize what a fix we're in when now without any sacred sake? It was I who committed that unspeakable act the, at the moon cave. Was it? I, I never even realized. I know there was like a cutscene where some dude did that, but did we see that it was Susano? Because if so, I'm a damn idiot. It was I who brought Orochi back to life. I brought utter destruction upon the world. <laughs> Huh? What is that fool talking about? He's just Luigi now. That's, that's, the, the facts. I was sick about hearing about how I'm a descendant of Nagi. <laughs> I'm sorry, and you guys said you liked this dude? I wanted to prove it was all a lie by removing the sword Tsukiyomi. But the legend was true and I've unleashed an unspeakable evil. Name of Susano. And the curse consumed all of Nippon. What do you think is in the moon cave? I know what's in the moon cave! I just... Listen, I'm an idiot. That's all. That's all you gotta say. <laughs> you, don't, you don't gotta make me explain why I'm stupid. This is madness! No! This is Sparta! Ooh. You removed the sacred sword that imprisoned the dreaded Orochi? I fled to the village out of fear. Like, a character would be boring without any character flaws, TBH. Well, I think this character is worse. Then I blocked its entrance with a boulder and hid underground. Also, this is some great artwork. After that, I tried fleeing here and there. But the gods would not leave me be. Ever, they stared down at me. They let it be known that I'd never be forgiven. At least... Not until I slew the dreaded Orochi. Oh, I- again, this is me not making obvious connections, but I'm gonna have to work together with Susano, just like the, the other one worked together with Nagi. Great, thanks, that's what I've been looking forward to. Anyways. <laughs> I know that Tsukiyomi was removed and the moon king vanished. But if what Susano said is true, that would mean Orochi's right of sacrifice. I never thought Griffin's taste in characters could get worse. <gasps> Roach! What the- Don't say these things! Ah! Well, see you guys. Go, Emmy, go, Emmy, go! I don't know why I'm going. <gasps> Eight. The most dangerous number of all. Like in the Octo Expansion. Uh oh. They're swirling! You have no leg to stand on, Infinite Lover. Hey! You're right, that's an appropriate call out. You got me there. Eh? Eh? It's like a fucking hate seeking whistle. <laughs> dun dun. But we still respect you and value your streams. Both of those things are blatant lies, and these are the things you say. On the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the accursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maiden. <gasps> it is exactly as the legend tells. If we don't offer the chosen maiden as a sacrifice, our entire village will be wiped off the face of the earth. Well, you heard the arrow. Time to get a move on. I'm sorry, is that always what the mumble voice has been? Dude, Susano, you're no coward! This is, the, this is the number one problem with me taking gaps this long between Okami streams, is that I always forget the voices that I give the characters. Not forgetting where I am in the story or in the game, 
It's these voices that matter. If the gods tell you to fight, you're the only one who can. Cushy sad face. Yeah, a rogue TV like, please, ma'am, may I have some cushy? You can do it after all you said me, didn't you? I know you can do it. I know, come on. Wait, cushy, you're not going to. Might 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 have maybe wanted to invest in maybe like a different walking animation here to cause that looks goofy as fuck and ruin the mood. Behold my Thunderbolt! The Great Naga intoxicated Orochi and defeated him! My Sake is my life! Surely you can intoxicate even Orochi! Shut up, it's not just a game. It's my life. Hey Kushi, wait! Maybe this this is for the better. With her gone, Eason will have nobody to creep on. She's not going to take on Orochi herself, is she? Look at her to go, she's got fucking wheels. No, Kushi, wait! <coughs> As if you're taking it seriously in the first place? I'm trying. Did somebody say, Kushi? Oh no, he doesn't even come out. Cause he's a fucking clown! Wow, listen to the music here. Also, am I not touching the floor? Look at where my shadow is. Wow, I love this track. Anyways, I was having like a, a sneaking suspicion all this time and I, I need to follow up on, on something. Don't you just gotta draw the line? Why is it not connecting to me? I guess I have to be closer or something? Yeah, probably on that side of the... Okay. Dad ought to do it! Okay, kids, let's see. No, still no! Why isn't it working? Oh, oh there it goes, okay. Hmm. This is a cool ass track. Okay, is there anything else up these cliffs? There is. Secrets galore. Also, I thought there was like some airship in the sky, but I guess it's just a constellation that we already got. What's all this? Secrets ahoy! Whoa! Oh, stray bead. Great. My favorite collectible. The smoke on your brush indicates that you're interacting with something, if that helps. Yeah, I noticed it was turning green when I was, like, on the flower, but I didn't realize that it could turn green on, uh, Amy as well. I guess I just gotta put a little more thought into how I'm, uh, about, about Amy's, like, relation in 3D space to the- I thought it would just work at, like, any distance, but I guess it makes sense why it doesn't. Beads, stupid fucking anime girl emote. Sir Kaboom! I don't trust like that. Anyways, let's uh maybe go after the more urgent matter. Wait, so are we going like to the moon cave like now? I thought that was like an end of the game thing. What's going on here? Oh, tap 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 tap. Oh, I usually only get the three tries. Damn it! Wait, there she is! Oh, I thought she was much further ahead. You okay, sweetie? Isu, shut the fuck up! Don't try to stop it, Isu! Oh, you snowy! I mean, I can see why you would want Isu to, but I take personal offense to the fact that you do not want Amy's help. If Orochi's chosen victim runs away, disaster will befall Kamiki! But that's not why I'm doing this! What? There's too much suffering in the world! I'm going to use my sake to rid us of his evil ass! <laughs> Are you crazy? We're talking about the dreaded Orochi here. That attitude's gonna get you killed. Oh, I can actually fast forward this. You really think you'd win with the little jug of sake? Yes, Isu! I guess I am crazy! But it's the only way! My sake is the only answer! I'm going! Oh, the 
fucking wow cartoon noise. Not you too, Amy. Dang it. Why are you getting all worked up? There's no hope of winning. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. <gasps> yes! Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, and listen to the music here too. This is hype. What is this, Twilight Princess? I was thinking that too. Like, I know a lot of people like to make comparisons between these two games, but I was like, hmm, Midna's Lament, maybe? Or just, I guess, Midna's always on Wolf Link's back, so any moment in Twilight Princess, for that matter. This song is so calm. Understandable. Yeah, this fucking slaps. I mean, I've generally liked Okami's music so far, but nothing's really, like, been standing out to me until, like, now. There's the place. I wonder if you can, like, fight with her on your back. I'm not about to find out, though. Holy shit, this is it, Luigi! May as well talk to you, why not? Didn't- Oh yeah, Kushi, what on earth are you doing? I heard a deafening peal of thunder from the village just now. Believe me, this is no night to be wandering about outside. Is that the voice he got? I don't know. I hope so. And it even plays on the loading screen. Me! Whoa, fuck! Oh, that's a good fucking soundscape. Look at this! This is... wow. It's all coming together. The time has come! I see a lot of people, uh, say that- I'm sorry, is that Waka? <gasps> Waka! I see a lot of people say that Okami copied off of Twilight Princess, but Okami came out before Twilight Princess, funny enough. I never heard about any, like, copying accusations, really. I just hear about a lot about comparisons, because they're just very similar. I knew you'd come, Amaterasu. Also, hey, Funky Rat. Wait, is this the end of the game? It feels like it, but Roach is saying that there's more. I take it you enjoyed your rendezvous with the sacrificial girl, eh? None of your business, you half-baked prophet. Isun, can you, like, think of more than one way to insult Waka? Or, pr preferably, no ways, because he's a good boy. That's the Serpent Crystal he stole from us. I mean, it seems like we've got aligning goals here. I don't see why we can't just work together here. How come I can't work alongside Waka instead of fucking Susano? This guy's way cooler. Wow. Anyone else kind of giving a suspicious glance at those particle effects there? It's kind of looking maybe like little, little sperm boys. <laughs> well, the moon cave is open. You've played your part. Now leave the rest to me, Amaterasu. Eh? I wonder if that was like keeping Orochi in as much as it was keeping us out. Deku in Dreamland is raiding with a party of six. Oh shit, thanks Deku. <gasps> it was keeping the- Oh no! Oh no! They slurped them right up! Nice fucking going, Waka. What slapping bitch? This music, apparently. Why you? What's the meaning of this? Meaning? Hmm. Does the saying, like a moth to a flame, ring any bells? I mean, you went in on your own accord, no? 
Of course, only one other besides the victim is supposed to get in. I guess you really don't count, my little bouncing friend. Taha. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, we're all oh, I understand what's going on now. We're trapped. Looks like we've been set up again, Amy. I can't stay because I want to stream this too and I don't want spoilers, but I hope you have a fun stream. Thanks, Deku. Thanks for the raid. Uh, wait, is Waka the Griffith of the game? I do not understand, anyways. But you, were you not planning to enter the cave anyway, Mashuri? It is time for you to shine, Amaterasu. Now let me leave you with this little prophecy. Wait, so are we locked in and then they're standing out, or is it the other way around? Because I can't tell where anybody is in the environment right now. <laughs> I love this dance. Look, the moon, the moon, the moon came out. Uh, pardon, Mashuri. That wasn't a very good one. Yeah, Waka. You're good. Oh, he's not gonna try again? Okay. Au revoir. Oh, we are locked in. Oh no, they're like clawing on the door like a puppy. Guess we're stuck here. But we were planning on taking care of that Orochi anyway. Okay, there's no action going on anymore. You don't have to lock the text scroll. Cut it out, Amy. It's no use. Well, let's go check the place out. Did they just, like, walk through it to turn around? <laughs> oh, thank God. We're not barred from leaving, he's barred from entering. If Susana makes his way in, I'm gonna be very upset. Finally, this is a Susano free zone, please. The Moon Cave. This is scary. Huh? Oh, great. The stairway has crumbled away. Yeah, I was about to say. Something looks a little suspicious here. God or not, this is just too big a leap for you. We either have to find a way around, or we can go our way. You know, our way. It's so obvious. It's that saying of mine. Leap before you think. Isun's saying is talk before he thinks. I know it'll take a lot of guts to do that now. Leap before- But you just said that a god can't do it. Okay, let me get, like, a running start here. I'm gonna give it my all. You can build up speed at running in circles, right? I don't think you can. I think once you turn, it kind of, like, slows your momentum. Oh, well, what the fuck? Emmy, this is our only option. You stopped me! I was gonna do it! I mean, it doesn't look like there's any way around. And if we waste any more time here, poor little Kushi will get gobbled up. Please, ma'am! May I gobble some Kushi? God damn it. Okay, I gotta get a running start, though. <gasps> nice fucking going. Great idea, Isun. You hate Susano because he don't do shit, but you don't want him to go in and do something? Because he'll mess it up. I don't like him. I, I dislike him for many reasons, including his mere presence. That was quite a fall. What have you gotten ourselves into this time? I thought that this was going to be like an Indiana Jones kind of thing, where there's like an invisible path, but okay. Well, now that we're down here, I hope you can sniff out Kushi's whereabouts for a ball. Hold it right there, Fluffy! I'm sorry, Hoops. What do you think you're doing? Yo, Toad? What business do you have with the Moon King? Stronghold of our master, the Great Orochi! Hello! Over there! Oh, you! Now I thought you would see your face here! I could spot you a mile away! You fixing for a fight, you chunks? Can't wait for a pop-up that says, do you want to fight yes and no, and then the no option does nothing. Well, we don't have time to mess around with bit players like you. You know any bit players in chat? But if you insist, then hurry up so I can ease them. You're the one making these threats. You're gonna have to follow up on them. <gasps> Why, you're just a dumb old wolf? Yeah, look at that foolish mom 
Awesome. You gotta be the dumbest looking wolf. <gasps> How dare they? That destroys a fire to a place like this. You're not too bright, are you, champ? I don't think Fluffy is as much of a threat. <gasps> I can't believe this. This is treason of the highest degree. I wonder if Fluffy's just hungry. Why, yes, I am. Thank you. Goodbye. Whoa, shit, there's actually stuff here? Oh, I guess I literally don't even have to fight them. Wow, the Undertale technique. Okay, but do I actually, like, have to? It seems like the real way is, like, behind me. Boy, oh boy, do you look out of it, man. I kinda feel sorry for you. Makes me wanna feed you or something. Ow. What do you want, Fluffy? Well, think again. No place. I mean, thanks for the free food, I guess. I guess it's just a way to, like, restore your HP because you're locked out. <gasps> the Thunder Brew. I recognize this. Wait a second. Isn't that a boss gate right there? Fragment, fragment sake representing the culmination of Kushi's... But isn't that a boss gate? Okay. Hey, isn't that that babe Kushi's sake? <laughs> It's too horny, please, cease. There's still some left, but I'm not sure it'll be enough to take care of Orochi. What, did they already have a sip, babes? What is that for? Doesn't that mean there's a boss battle ahead? Whoa! Well, if there's another dungeon, like, right here, fine by me, because the dungeons, are, I find, are the most fun part of this game. Also, this is a cool little cave. Golden Gate doesn't always mean a boss. I know when I went through it the first time, it, like, explained what those things do, but... Do you want to jog my memory, Roach? Or... Because... I think it's, like, a kind of a save, but it's, like, not a save. But it's, like, not not a save, either. Hmm. Do I just have to, like, climb back up? Or what's going on here? Kind of struggling to figure out where I'm going here. Hmm. Could I like? <sighs> Not really. It's a mini save point if you die. So like a checkpoint, one might say. Oh, maybe I gotta go through this thing. But that gate's placement is pretty useless. Okay. Oh, this dude's already gray. I just gotta draw a line through him. Yo, did he just dab on me? Boop, 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 boop. With such a tacky little drum noise. Oh, that last lap really meant business. What? Well, but if he's already gray, how do I know when to draw a line? Also, skulls! Alright, Roach. What's the situation? Oh, I see. Maybe I do have to draw lines through him. Maybe that just means he's, like, always vulnerable? Or... Oh, and then that gets rid of the skulls. Okay. Chai, I get the picture. Tough. See ya. Oh, missed it. Still. Nice. Maybe this is the secret. You obtained mask. In space covering, where to be accepted as one of their own. Ho <laughs> ho! Hey, this is one of those masks those imps wear. But this one's so plain, no design. Oh! <gasps> Please let me draw something on it. Of course, any respectable artist can't resist a blank canvas. I mean, you just want to paint something on it, you know? Hold on a sec, furball. I'm gonna spiff it up a bit. Wait. Oh, okay. Apparently this is Eason's doing, but... Alright, chat. Make your vote. What are we gonna draw on this? Behave, Griffin. I can't control my hand! <laughs> it 
It doesn't look half bad on you. <laughs> In fact, you look better than your one of the mill imp. Oh, I, you bet I like it. Ta-da, now you're one mean looking imp. But seriously, this is no time to fool around. Oh, of course. I would never. Only an imp would get a kick out of wearing a mask like this. While we're screwing around here, that arrow oh, jeez. <laughs> Poor little Kushi, and I can't bear to think about it. Oh, it's a miracle. You're like the 20th person I've seen do this. Listen, I just especially like it because the way I positioned it and the slight jiggle physics that kick in when they like look around or like, this is a bad view. But you see how it like flails around, it's got like some cloth physics or whatever? I don't know, it, it makes the balls jiggle because of where they're positioned and I just think that's hilarious. So, in summation, leave me alone. Okay, there's the gate. I'm coming, Luigi! See, guys, I'm one of you. More like dickle physics. Ooh, got me there, circuit boom. Oh no, these guys have toad voices. What are you doing here? Looking for intruders? There was that silly looking wolf a while back, but nothing else out of the ordinary. We got this place covered. Get back to your post now! Post? What post? The sacrificial ceremony for the Great Emoji is to be held today. Everyone's busy getting ready. There's no time to play around. What are you waiting for? Get up there to help. Oh, uh, okay, I'm on it. Well, that was easy. Fuck. No, please, let me... No! I just want the dragon fang. Whether or not I'm good at bad or bad at doing that, like, wildly varies. Hmm. So I guess this is the real meat of the dungeon now, huh? Love this dude. Hmm. <laughs> wow, that's an interesting sigh. Where's the appetizer? Lord Orochi always demands an appetizer for when he died on his human sacrifice. What's taking so long? It should have been ready by now. Lord Orochi's gonna chew us up and spit us out if we don't hurry. What on earth are those dog cooks doing? Oh, hold on, there's more to say. Hey! Hi! Don't ring the epic here in Bellia. You're not supposed to ring it until the appetizer's ready. Lord Orochi will punish us if it's wrong before dinner. Can I, like, put some feet in it, maybe? I don't know, I've got some meat. Can I use any of that? Equipment. No, this is just... Two ills. Hmm. No, it looks like it's off limits. Although I could add the sake here, perhaps. I don't know, I'm gonna need some advice here. Because I think that this is maybe less like a traditional dungeon and more like there's just, like, a bunch of things to help these dudes out with. And I have to complete all of those tasks. That's my guess, at least. Oh, okay, I thought this is where I came from. Eh? Oh my. Oh, I see. Chai, I get the idea. Nope. Eh. Eh, eh. Oh, well, neither of those accomplished what they were supposed to do. Great. I gotta wait for the green. Uh-huh. I guess I can only do one at a time? I thought the tr Okay, it doesn't lift. I thought the trick was to, like, get both at once, because if you did, like, only one, it might, like, tip over or something, but... I guess that works, too. Well, then. Owie, owie, owie! Hot stuff! Hey, sweetheart, yeah, you. Get me out of here before I end up. Well done. Owie, owie! Oh, I guess we did it. <laughs> Guys, I, there's like millions of these dudes. I can't give them all toad voices. Although it is tempting. 
The mind is willing, but the throat is weak. <laughs> you can just call me a kitty. Ah, of course. Listen, I'm not here to make friends. I was cooking with such tender loving care that I totally spaced out and almost cooked my own goose. Tender loving care. Every time it cuts back to Okami, Okami, Emmy, with that mask. Oh, it's magnificent. What an absolutely fabulous mask you have there, sweetheart. Say, how would you like to be on my assistant? On my assistant? Oh! Assistant? Oh no, I... I have to whip up a lip smacking appetizer to let it, to, to, to whet Lord Orochi's appetite before the time comes for the human sacrifice course. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Wait, wait, we uh, didn't come here to help, you see. Oh, how should I put it? Tisk tisk. never mind that. It's just that I've run into a wee bit of a problem. I'm almost done, but alas, I've run out of my secret ingredients. I could finish up without them, but then I want to be putting my heart into my beloved's meal. Beloved? Well, I can relate to your obsession with detail. I mean, quality does suffer when you cut corners. All artists know that. Anyway, I'm in fruitcake. That's fabulous news, sweetheart. There are four secret ingredients. We'll need you to find. Now pay attention. All of them can be found somewhere in the moon cave. Okay, here goes. Ogre liver. Lips of ice. Eyeball of fire. Black demon horn. Got that. Okay then. I'm counting on you. Oh, silly me. I almost forgot. Here, take this key with you. The rest is up to you, darling. The fact that- maybe I'm reading too much into this, you know, as a gay, but the fact that this dude is like dancing around and saying darling and sweetheart, and the fact that Eason said fruitcake? Hmm. Kamiya! Kamiya, don't you do that! You know, I say as I have a fucking cock on my face. <laughs> Ew. Oh, I thought I had to like draw something on that. That's much easier. So what's this all about then? I already forgot what we needed, but I think it should be on the menu somewhere. Gale Storm logbook. Crucial to your quest, right? Heard during the quest. Okay, I thought it was one of two, not one of twelve. Okay. I don't got it, but it's it's nice that I can go back for it. I'm sure I'll just find it either way. It's not like I'm going to the goddamn grocery store where there's a million things to choose from. Watch your step. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I can't see, I've got a fucking cock in the way. Hmm. I'm worried by the zoom it just did on that, because like, if it's pointing down, then that means it'll like drop you to- What if I were to use wind on it though? That's a thing we learned last time. What if I could use wind to flip it over? Well, that's my guess. You could stop at five or six doors, or just one. That's gonna drop me, though. Is it like an alternate route of some kind? Don't take a nap. Now's not the time. Hmm. What's the secret here? Can I do like a zigzag from thing to thing? No, this is the only one in range. That's the point? But it seems like I should have that, and then I would go to that, right? It's gonna drop me in the death water. See, look. If I can fucking execute this. <gasps> it made sad dog noises! Thanks, Roach. Thanks. So clearly that's not the solution. There's gotta be a way to like make it go upright. That's what I'm thinking anyways. Hmm. 
Oh, that's just where I came from, though. I don't know, it seems like a pretty linear set of flowers. Huh. You gotta be quick about hookshotting to one flower from one flower to another. Can I do that? If I were to like Oh oh That's sneaky. That is sneaky. Kinda feel like that maybe should have been better telegraphed, but I get I get the picture now. Oh, and then you gotta okay. Then you gotta do like a longer chain. I can hardly do a one chain. <laughs> Please! Uh huh. Whoa! Phew! Okay. Hello. Hmm? Check out this eyeball lantern, Annie. I don't trust this shifty eyed thing. It's kind of freaking me out. I'd feel a whole lot better if we could make it shut somehow. Well, what if we were to poke it in the eye? Hmm, that didn't do much. And neither did that. I mean, the game wouldn't be fun if it held your hand the entire time. I'm not asking you to outright tell me. I'm just think. My line of thinking is that, like, maybe there should have been an earlier section in the game where there's, like, God damn it. <laughs> well, there's a safe space where you can, like, learn that that's a thing that you can do without having, like, death as a penalty. But I guess it is, like, a meaningless punishment if you do fall, so I don't know. I just don't want to hear sad dog noises. Hmm. What's the trick here? Now, here is, is the kind of situation where we need some hand-holding. Unless it, like, poke the hole in the side? What if I were to do that? No. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. There's not really much else around here that I can interact with besides that thing, so I think I just need to find, like, the right brush technique to use. Would, like, a downwards line work? Hmm. What's the T? Woach, help me, please. I do not understand. Okay, so let's see, I can draw circles. I don't think making a bloom is the solution. Um, I can draw a moon. Maybe it's gotta go to sleep. Oh, I think it's just a single C shape, right? Um, I can draw horizontal lines. Whoa! Well, I guess that does the trick. I'm not sure how, but I'll take it. Eh? Oh, this isn't so bad. I actually kind of like how spacious these arenas are now. Although, maybe I can see the reason. I think I gotta attack this guy before he can bloom. Oh, and I forgot about the wave, too. I mean, the, the wave, uh, the, the dash, or the dodge. The wave dash. Yeah, this game is shit, does not have wave dash in its side aerials. Oh, I'm sorry, now I can circle. Nice, okay. So is that like our first ingredient, or is this like all the things? You obtained ogre liver. Use it as an ingredient in a Rochi's appetizer. Well, great, where to now? Maybe bonds? That is another thing that I didn't use yet. Let's see. These look very crackable. And indeed they are. So what's the tea here? Hmm. Do I just turn around from here? It seemed like there was only the one way to go. Is it possible to get the ingredients in like any order or 
do you, are there just like four different like paths to go down, and this is just the one I accidentally went down. Because if the next set section's up ahead, then what I'm doing right now is... Someone better warn me fast is all I'm saying. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, okay. And then this one's actually safe. Nice. You get them in whatever order you wish. So am I going to some sort of central area that'll lead me to the other ingredients then, or is it am I going the wrong way? Well, there's a cutscene, so I would imagine not. Yeah, okay. You just have to draw, like, an upwards line from those things, right? I like that it's kind of, like, bringing together all the abilities that you've learned so far, though. That's neat. Eh. Okay, there we go. Now we're making some progress again. I wonder if the, each of these routes, too, are gonna, like, utilize a lot of these abilities in, like, different ways, because... The path that we just took was pretty heavy on, like, the little flower trails, so I wonder if this will be, like, something different. Also, the camera's, like, panning as if to show me something I'm supposed to do, but I, I didn't really glean much from that besides the, the water thing that's immediately next to me. Oh, great, ink. Cool. So what exactly is the purpose of these ink refills, like, outside of battle? Because they refill naturally, and, and they're not, like, that slow. Come to think of it. Eh, okay, but what about the chest down there? Is that what it's trying to tell me? Because this seems like a new area too, though. This is pretty open-ended, though. I'll give it that. Breaks easily, so be careful. <laughs> careful, Anami. Better tread lightly. I'm sorry, what? I did, like, something very brief that caused my feet to, like, just glide across the ground. But I guess this, this is the the, light, the lightest I can go. I was hoping there was, like, a slower amount of input that I could do that would just, like, make me T-pose across the ground, but unfortunately, no. Okay. So what now? Bombs? Fire? I can't tell if this is a rock or, like, an iceberg. There will be a lot of times where you need a lot of ink pots, or the game will get difficult, so refilling your ink is crucial. I don't know, at least as far- I- no, if I want the sun that I have to draw it in the sky. Can I do that? Is that the sky out there? No. Huh. Can I do the same thing that I did with the water, where I can like- Oh shit, well... Kind of. Kind of. It's gotta have something to do with this torch. Do I just like knock it over? <gasps> do I do I bite it? Do I drag it? What can I do with this? This has gotta have something to do with this. Although it did kind of do that. The two have to be connected somehow. Hmm. Wind. W what if I used wind? To blow the fire towards the ice. To blow the fire towards the ice. Well, I'm out of ideas. Okay, but that, that seems like the best one that I've got so far, so let me... Maybe it was like the wrong angle? What gives? Wind, please. Wind. Okay, well that went like right through the fire that time, so I'm for real out of ideas now. Connect the line with the fire, from the fire to the ice. That's what I tried before, but it didn't seem to work. I think you can only do that with bodies of water. Because there's no, like, interaction thing that pops up either. With, like, the, the special smoke that comes out of the ink. You can, like, draw a line through this, and that'll cause it to, like, kind of pop open briefly. But I, that doesn't seem to do anything. You don't have the ability for that yet? Oh, so it, maybe I have to come back here later then? Okay. I'll just tread lightly with my tail between my legs then. Eh?
But I tread lightly! Wait a second, is this where I think it is, or is this where I was supposed to go? I did not understand! Was that, like, supposed to happen, or did, did I do something wrong? Oh, <gasps> Dragon Thing! Oh no, this dude's got the scars, that's right. If I can... I'll watch this. I meant to combo all three of those, but okay. Nope, still not getting any. There it is, there's the yo. It was scripted? Okay. I thought I, like, did something wrong and this was, like, a punishment. Ooh, three. Don't mind if I do. Do. Nice. Oh! Damn, that's a lot of praise. But, is there an ingredient involved? Oh, really? I, th I was expecting, like, another chest to pop up, but I guess not. Well then. Let's not drown in here. Let's not. So I should be able to feel... It's kind of hard to find a good angle to, like... Fuck, come on. I had it. Sure, that makes sense, I guess. Oh. Oh. Sneaky. I can get up there, though, right? Oh, okay. Definitely. I thought I had to, like, do a wall jump, but... So these guys just, like, aren't noticing any of this, then? Eh? Or any of this, for that matter? These guys shoot fucking lasers? God damn. No, that was not. Okay, there we go. See ya. Wow, so that's really all you have to do then? I thought it was like timing based or something, but I guess you just gotta do a little swish, and that's it. Wild. Holy smokes! Holy crap, Lois! Get a load of that, Annie! The water at the bottom of this pit looks poisonous. Even you wouldn't stand a chance if you fell in there. Yes, but what if... I were to purchase fast food and disguise it as my own cooking. I feel like I can, like, use the water here and, like, put it into there, but the camera doesn't really let me, like, look all the way down. Like, I can't get both the bottom end of the pit and the water, like, in the same frame, so I'm not quite sure how to go about this. Oh, but maybe I have to, like, use the dude on the platform to, like, lower down. That could also be a solution. Let's find out. Go! <laughs> Now that the water below has receded, I'm surprised to see how deep the shaft is. I feel all weak in the knees. The elevator will go crashing down to the bottom if we don't keep a firm grip on this crank here. So you better not disturb me. You guys see that mischievous face on Annie. You know what I gotta do. Yikes! Yeah, but what if I like... Oh, oh, I see. I see. Yo, do these dudes have like asses? They got little ass cheeks, look at that. Like a monkey. How far down is this place? One more should do the trick, right? Yeah. Wait, but he's gonna abandon me. Okay, see ya. 
Well, that's unfortunate. See, see, see. I guard the door here. Boy, I just love this job. It makes life worth living. This is so sad. I recently added a special mechanism to the door. Now it's really hard to open. The sight of people trying with all their might to open the door makes me laugh my head off. He 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 he. I don't see no door. Oh, hey, Femi. Did I miss the dream story? Oh, shit, the dream story. Okay, so you know how there was the Nindy's showcase or, or whatever last night? Um, a couple nights before that, I had, like, a, a dream about Reggie. And so I was, like, in this dream, I was, like, looking through, like, old videos on Nintendo's, like, YouTube channel. And I find this, like, weird old video there that's, like... For some reason, in this dream, the reveal of the Switch was not the one that we all know, where it's the, the slap and song and it's just, you know, a bunch of people going around Vancouver gaming, but instead, it's like one of those, like, older stage presentations that they used to do, and so Reggie's like, well, the people over in Japan wanted to call it Nintendo TV, Nintendo Cube, Nintendo Switch. Personally, I thought all those names were shit. I wanted to call it Nintendo BMW. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, and he said, like, he wanted to name it that because then it would make players think of something, like, advanced and classy. <laughs> do I have to get all of these at once, or do I just gotta... Is there, like, an order to this? What's the dealio? Oh, you can cut those down. That's interesting. That's what we were waiting for? I think that's funny. Fuck you! Just think of the imagery of Reggie saying that he thinks the name Nintendo Switch is shit and that he wanted to name it Nintendo BMW. Oh, you do have to get them all. Oh, you gotta, like, line it up. Sneaky. Okay, that should be good. I think. Indeed. That's cool. Oh. Okay, I feel like we gotta be learning that fire ability sooner or later. Looks like there's a little phoenix trapped in there. It's gotta be the, the case. What's with this ice statue? <laughs> no wonder it's so chilly in here. Amy, this is no ordinary chill. It's kind of a creepy feeling. I bet there are monsters nearby. Better be careful. Ah! It's the grapefruit monster! I can imagine Reggie saying, fuck, it's kind of funny to me. You see, Funky Rod gets it. Thank you. <gasps> Look at his lips! <sighs> Look at this dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, line time? I mean, they look dizzy, I'm not sure why. Okay. This is a... What the fuck is this enemy design, even? I feel like I haven't really addressed the fact that I'm fighting a pair of lips on a wheel! Okay, get the hell out of here. Look at his lips! Okay, well one of the ingredients was like an ice lip or something like that, so that's gotta be where the next ingredient comes from, right? It is a phoenix, look at that! Wow. I love this enemy design, it's so dumb. Also, the specific enemy is super weak to your counter reflector. This- <laughs> This phoenix is only a statue, right? I mean, it looks like it might take off at any moment. <sighs> Constellation time. Oh, dude, if the next if the next creature we come across is like a fucking phoenix that looks like Okami, I mean Ami, then that would be cool. So let's see, the lines you gotta get are this, this, and this, right? Phoenix. Oh, that 
that's exactly what it is. Oh, that's such a cool design. Look at all these chickens. Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good, and mother to us all. Pakak! Sealed away by the dark forces, I have spent years in this cave. Time passed, but I was unable to make my way to freedom. Oh, they fucking smoking. They fucking cooking. But now your power has lifted the curse that plagued me. I, Momogami, god of flames, lend you my fiery power. Burn a new source of light into the obscuring darkness. I mean, great, I figured out, like, the ability that I need to melt the other thing. But the bridge broke, so how do I get across anymore? One problem gets solved, and another problem arises. Meme Arrow looks like Okami. <laughs> I still think the creepiest clip of Reggie is the interview he did with Pro Jared where he says, What's the worst thing you've said about Nintendo and say it to my face? <laughs> wow, never expected to find a brush god here. We got a powerful ally just when we needed it. Moogami's the most fearsome of all the brush gods. Its technique, known as Inferno, reduces almost anything to ashes. Hmm, who should be our first victim? Isun! I know, that ice over there. Listen up, Mammy. Inferno is based on the power of fire. You gotta place your brush on a source of fire and draw a line. Okay, so exactly the thing that I thought we had to do. Cool. Wait, is that a dick? <laughs> yup! The power of fire will surge into the line, creating an inferno. But actions speak louder than words, so try it out on that ice. Yeah, what are you talking about, Roach? Oh, I would prefer it if the game didn't hold your hand, and yet Eason is right here explaining the obvious. Place your brush on that flaming statue and draw a line to the ice. Mm-hmm. You did it, you big fur ball. There it is. There's my mask. That's one hot technique. It'll probably only singe a few scales off that Orochi, but it'll make crispy critters out of the snake's underlings. Is it a snake? I thought it was a dragon. Personally, I think my, like, favorite Reggie moment is, like... I think I posted this, like, on... on well, I guess... The, the, the Twitter that I use when the, when the one I have now was locked... It's like a clip from like a really old direct, and it's it's Bill Trennan standing like in an elevator, and then Reggie's voice like comes on on like the speaker, and he's like, Bill, we gotta do this direct, come on, and he's like, well, Reggie, I'm in an elevator, I'm trying or whatever, and and Reggie just re responds with with the line, you cannot escape me, Bill, <laughs> and I think that's the scariest. What's your favorite scary Reggie moment? Leave a comment below. Anyways, the Infinity Gauntlet. Ink stone with limited list source. Temporarily enjoy infinite ink. Do I can I do things with these? I can. I thought they were decorative, but they're pots. You cannot escape me, though. My favorite Reggie moment is when he force choked someone. I can't say I remember that one. I remember the time where he had lasers come out of his eyes and someone exploded. Best Buy sounds great, we can do Best Buy. Guys, I missed the, the Mega 64 Reggie shorts. Gee, it's been so long since anyone stopped by. I was worried the Craig was going to rust from lack of use. Let's crank this thing on up. Wait. Well, that was convenient. Like, they did that in 2014 and 2015, and it was great, but then it just stopped. They gotta get back on that. I thought that was gonna be, like, a tradition, and every time E3 season comes around, I hope desperately that another Mega 64 video will arise. To me, there's no better way to announce their E3 plans than that. I wish they would just do that. He says, I have that power, so casually. What other powers does he command? <laughs> Reggie is a busy man. He's more than a busy man. He's a powerful man. Oh, well then. You cannot escape me, though. Also, I never got any lips from that previous battle. Maybe that's what I get out of this, though. Also, Roach said that they're, like, really weak to, like, a reflector of some kind that I have. W what button do I press to use that? Is that, like, my secondary or something, or...? Because I can't figure that out, really. I don't know what I'm doing here. I thought Mega64 joined a different network. Maybe that's why? Uh... Are they under any network? I don't think they are. 
What you might be thinking of is, I think one of their crew members joined Rooster Teeth or something like that? Um... I don't know, I haven't heard anything along the lines of that, though. Wow! They used to do a lot of sponsor videos. Uh, I mean, they still do. There was one they did with, like, Famitsu Ueda, where it's like... <laughs> Uh, after the concept of that one is like after Shadow of the Colossus and uh, The Last Guardian and all these like very artistic games, the next game he directs is like a Madden game, so it's like Madden by Fumito Ueda, and it's like just a fucking football game, but then also with, like a bunch of like metaphorical demon shit. I think the reason is that either they just haven't been invited or they just don't want to keep doing it every year. I don't know. I just think that Reggie and Mega64 make, like, a great team. I don't know. It, it gives Reggie a lot of excuses to, like, make a lot of meme content, and I think that that's something that we're sorely lacking these days. Oh, there's the lips. Look at his lips! <laughs> oh, ew. Chewy Lips, used as an ingredient in Orochi's appetizer. Delicious. Can I just like draw a line to get all these at once? I can. Equip your reflector as your sub and press X to shield slash counter. Is that so? I don't think I have that, Roach. I think that's something that I either get optionally or get later. Also, wait a second, I don't think I have all the ingredients. Let's see. Logbook journal, right? Let's see, okay. We got that one. We got that one. I mean, I wonder if- I mean, Roach said that I can get these in any order that I'd like, but it seems like I have a pretty, like, specific path to follow. So far, the ones I've gotten are in order as they are on the list, so I guess I'll just go back to the center room and keep looking around? It looks like there's more that I can do here now that I'm back in the central room, so I'm gonna give that a shot first. Is there any fire out here I can use for this, or maybe for later? Oh, I can dig in this. No, a reflector is a weapon type, the disc-looking weapons. What? I already have one of those equipped, don't I? What exactly is going on here? Ah! Okay, but why? Oh shit, I see. Huh. That's a handy little shortcut. Okay, so let's see, the room that I was trying to get to before was... In this direction, though, right? I'm looking for the one that had the bridge that snapped beneath me and then has, like, the fire and the ice in it. Okay, no, this is where the flower thing was. I think the, the ne it's the next room after this. Yes, but not as a sub. What does that mean, exactly, Roach? I do not understand. Are you saying that I can, like, equip the main as a sub and the sub as a main? Okay, that should do the trick. So is the bridge just back, or do I have to find a way across? Yeah, I, I can't do this anymore. Whoops. Who was it that broke this bridge again? Well, Emmy, you are actually heavier than you look. Fuck off, Isu. That power of yours could easily handle a broken- Oh. Uh... But why don't you think about going on a diet first? Hey, fuck you, Luigi! How come Isu gotta be like this? Why is he such a vile, vile person? Okay. Just be careful. Go into your fan menu and you can equip your weapons into mains or subs. Okay, so anything can be anything then. Gotcha. Okay, any ingredients here? Hello? Hello? <gasps> hey, Skitty Cream. 
I can only imagine where the Eye of Fire comes from, or whatever. Oh, and also Iceman. Yo, but where's Lukewarm Nose? Oh, boy. Eesh. I'm getting a little clumsy here. I gotta focus a little more. I thought you already knew that, TBH. I thought they were just like sub weapons and main weapons, like different categories. You know, let me let me try that right now, because you said it was like super effective. So if I were to take this. Oh no, look at that, you're right. Okay. Whoa shit. Whoa! Okay. I see what you mean. That's pretty cool. Ugh. These guys are kind of tough to stop in the first place, though. They gotta slow down. Oh, I see. So I guess that's why it's called, like, a reflector, because you have to, like, use it to, like, deflect an attack? Because using it on its own, it doesn't seem like it actually does much. You gotta wait for an attack and, like, react to it. Like this, perhaps. Or not. Or this? Hmm. There it is! Nice. Well, that's pretty nifty, thank you. Okay, one down. Have a slice. Have a bowl, Mr. Squidward. Whew. Also, you seeing this yen count right now? as well time was it hey, yo now this is an immersive bug Phew. I don't know how I got through two ice wheels so quickly and then that seems to just be a much bigger obstacle than it should have been if you counter just in time you receive a dragon fang too damn nice Okay, well that makes three out of four. A succulent eye uses an ingredient in Orochi's appetizer. Oh shit. What is this for though? Hmm. Something's afoot here. I wonder if I can... I wonder. Oh, well, never mind then. What do I do with this? Are you gonna knock it away? This looks like a little pedestal or whatever for the fire to be lit in, but I maybe I have to move this thing or draw a circle around it? Hmm. What's the trick here? Maybe this thing? No, that's too far away from the door, though. Hold on. You can use L to zoom out, right? Maybe that'll help. Indeed it does not. Hmm. What's the trick with this one? There's, you definitely have to like this, because there's like other stuff to find in here. And what if it's like an ingredient? Or just stuff that I want generally. It's gotta have something to do with these outside flames. I feel like bringing these ones inside is like... It's getting close, but it's not. Or I just have to do this. That could, that could also be the solution. But then there's like one more still, behind that ball. So what exactly do I do about that one? I mean, these are handy, but I thought I got that one. You can trick out some of these chests, but the one in the middle you can't get right now. Oh, of course. Is that like a new ability that I learned in this dungeon, or do I have to like come back here like way later? And if I do, is it something I need? Is that the last ingredient? Because if it's not, I can just move on. 
We've got a key, so I'm assuming we use that wherever the fourth thing is. But I suppose the matter is now, where is the door for this key? Eh? That was Orochi, no doubt. Sounds like he's hungry or something. Oh no, maybe he couldn't wait for his appetizer? He hasn't eaten poor Kushi first, has he? Listen, I told you, Isun. It's the craftsmanship that matters. I hope this doesn't break again, because that's going to be really annoying and tedious. See, Isun, what did I tell you? You're just a fool. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Phew. Let's see. You guys see any unlockable doors around here? Oh, hold on. I can get this and that in frame. Like so. What do we got? We got this dude. Oh, is this like a store? Here for- oh my god, it is! Sure, let's see what he got. What he got. Hmm. Is this like a weapon? It says it's a reflector, so I guess so. Let's take a couple of these, too. Although I probably should have saved a lot of what I currently have for, like, more important things. Also, that's a cute tanuki. Hmm. Well, this looks like something, but how do I open the gate? There's some real mysteries afoot here. Oh shit, there it is! How do I make my way... Oh, shit. So it's literally just like right down the road. Yo! <gasps> Camera! Phew. Infinity Judge is so good. Well, okay then, I will assume that that was a decent purchase. Blit. So I should probably equip that as my thing, right? Sub. Okay. Bones! Bones. Skull Dunes, don't play with the ball. Ugh, what's with what's, 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 what's all this sand crumbling off the ceiling? And you better be extra careful around here. I can probably see why. Maybe this is like where we learn the ball ability then? Oh, I'm think we probably shouldn't have done that. Should have. Did he just gonna pull me in? I guess not? Okay. For some reason, I can't roll this around like a normal ball. I gotta like slap this. But that's gonna make it a pain to move it around. Good thing physics aren't real in this game, and you can just roll it over slopes and nothing happens. I join, and the first thing I see is Peebus' face. Hey, Tyler. Personally, I prefer it as a main, but it can also fuck up demons at that counter. I still do not support Peebus' face. Also, Infinity Judge looks cool as fuck. Okay, what does this achieve? Oh. Sand is Undertale. Huh? I thought I saw a path for a second when I sand blew by. Tyler, what the fuck? Did you really just do that? Oh my, thank you for the bits. Thank you very much. Listen, I'm just getting a closer to the edge. Hold on. When the sand blew by. Can I make that happen again? With like wind? Oh, okay, okay. So this is the Indiana Jones secret that I was assuming was there. Oh, please don't do this. <gasps> My ball! <laughs> now that's a mood. Oh. This thing just clips through whatever it pleases, doesn't it? Oh, I really cannot believe this. Fucking ball rolling in this game is so. It's, it's 
fucking d <laughs> The dog back! And there goes the ball as well. Maybe let's get the wind blowing one more time. You gotta be really, really like precise with your jabs here. I say as I roll the ball off the edge. Sure, blame the game engine. Gladly. Fucking you know, this is why nobody uses Unity. Oh, it went down the hole, great. Just like me. Don't you do this. Emmy! This is the true final boss. Let's uh, go over the edge, isn't it? Where the hell is it even? Where it can still be on the ground. Oh, there's no salvaging this. But I pushed it to the left! Oh. Kamiya. Kamiya, you seeing this? Do you realize what you've done? Okay, that one was my fault. Although, I might have just clutched that. <gasps> oh, I don't know. This seems like a pretty clean path to me. <gasps> oh. Sometimes these broken physics will be your downfall, but sometimes... Sometimes you get a little something out of it. Oh, well that was an ordeal. It's gonna make me do it again, isn't it? Over like an even more difficult path. Or not. Is there like a little golf hole in there? Can't imagine, I gotta have a very good par. Cool LBA5 puzzle. <laughs> oh, great. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, okay, let's let's take some time to turn the camera, line it up, and smack that ball head on. Cock first. Thank you. Oh, okay. The Moon Cave map. Well, I'm glad I just I got that as soon as I'm like on the verge of getting the last ingredient, but okay. That's somewhat helpful. Wait a second. That's no fourth ingredient. Hold on, there was like another room attached to this. That might be where the last one is located. All right, you can use ZL to navigate this as well. Now that's handy. So there's something in this direction? Camera would be nice, but okay. Hmm. Hmm. How can we help? What's going on here? It says that this is like where the secret little path is. Is this like a... Like a secret slide thing? Like in Mario 64 where it does the thing? Unless I have to like make these plants bloom. Unless... No, that's not wind. Bloom. Bloom. Well, that, I'm, I'm out of ideas. Where's that damn fourth ingredient? Maybe I have to like go along this ridge? That probably seems like the thing I need to do. But then how do I even get up to that height? I don't think I can reach that from where I am. Hmm. Hmm. I mean that, no, I think that's too small to be like a proper platform. That's definitely like the ledge that I have to ride along to reach that thingy, but I don't know how else to... Huh. It's sneaky, that's for sure. I mean, there's also like the perfectly possible likelihood that 
the, the fourth ingredient isn't there and then it's like an unrelated secret, but that's all I've really got to go on right now. I mean, this is where like that last key led us to, so it's gotta be, there's gotta be something of importance here. Because the ball just lets us leave the room from the other side, so it, that would like operate on the assumption that we, <gasps> eh? This can't be it. Sometimes you're overthinking things. I well, to be fair, most of the time I underthink, so let me have this. Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't know. You got any ideas, dude who's 100%ed Okami several times? I don't think so. Um, <laughs> I think I know what I'm doing. I mean, that's all that's here. Let me check, like, the full dungeon map, because that might, like, connect to, like, a different floor. It's, like, to 3F. Is there anything, like, relating to the... So is 4F, is that where the boss is, or is that where the last ingredient is? No, this right here has got to be... So, 4F... Is that... How can I tell that that's what the red circle means? Usually there's, like, some sort of legend, but no, that's not here right now. Okay, well, it looks like what I have to do is just go back into the central area here and go further up. But then what's even the point? Because I could have accessed this area without having to unlock that door. I was here holding the key before. Hmm. What was the point of any of that? this exactly. Oh, hold on, wind. Oh, come on, that should count. <gasps> oh, there we go. The depth perception is kind of hard to judge when everything's so, like, flatly shaded. Wait a second, these things are on fire. How come the other thing wasn't able to be on fire? Oh, that's interesting. You have to, like, kind of factor in, like, the delay and how long it takes the fuse to ignite. I don't know, this wall seems like the wall to me. What's gotta happen here, exactly? Hmm. What else do I gotta fire this at? In fact, it doesn't seem like anything's firing out of it. Maybe I have to put the ball inside of the thing? I'm not sure. Unless I gotta, like, fire it, like, across the room at, the, at like, this flag here? Oh, great. Great. Do I gotta, like, hop in the cannon? Can I go inside of the cannon? Can you grief other players? Yeah, no way. I mean, there's some shit going on there. Hmm. There's gotta be something I'm missing here. Let me check the map again. Oh, hold on. This isn't even the right direction. It looks like the fourth ingredient is, like, behind me. Maybe I have to, like, come back to that? I don't know. Plays the bomb battlefield music. And he wings to the sky! Oh, but wait a second. I don't think bombing any of these is gonna do anything, is it? I think the way I've got to go is either, like, above or below me. Looks like a pretty normal wall to me. But who knows, maybe there's, like, a crack hiding somewhere. And yet there is not. Hmm. Well, how else do I get here, then? You have to bomb the wall that's on the opposite side of you. So that? Huh? Wait a second. But that's where the cannon... Oh, okay. So I wasn't wrong about either path, I'm just like, they're connected. Oh, that shadow's really finicky, but okay. 
And there's nothing I have to load the cannon up with, right? I don't have to, like, aim it at anything, like, specific. Or, like, fill it with something. So let's see, the wall that I'm trying to get is... Well, where the flag is, so I was aiming at the right spot. I guess I just gotta get that timing. Does staying on this little symbol, like, change the camera at all? No, cool. Hmm. I'm gonna estimate that it takes, like, 90 degrees for this to fire. Not quite. And... <gasps> There we go. It'd be a little more helpful if they were like visible cannonballs, but you know what? I'm a pro, so I don't need it. Phew, okay. So this has gotta be the fourth ingredient then, right? Because <laughs> if it's not, I'm gonna fucking scream. Now nah, this seems new to me. <gasps> Skull man. Can I, perhaps, unskull the man? I can. Dragon Fang, though? No, Dragon Fang. Oh, it's just the one dude. Okay. Hmm. This place is scary. It's the Cave of Bones. The Cave of Bones, Luigi. The catacombs. The oh, Mario, I don't know. Excuse me, bad medicine. Well, they were good medicine for me. <laughs> okay, so there's gotta be fire around here, right? Hmm. Right. I could have sworn I saw a torch like super early on in the cave, but yeah, here. Can I roll it? What do I do with this exactly? Maybe I bomb this. Let's see. I mean, it gives me like a slightly. I'm gonna get burnt if I touch it though, right? Maybe I gotta use wind to like roll it down. Oh! I do get hurt if I touch it though, right? Oh, okay, so you have to roll it through the whole cave using the wind. Clever. And then these little bomb things are like obstacles. I gotcha, I gotcha. That's a fun little puzzle. I guess some wind isn't real. I'm sorry, boing boing boing? Why didn't it make a boing sound? Oh, I guess because I'm out of ink? Holy bone M. I'm sorry, I've got all the holy bones I need, thank you very much. Oof. Can I do this before I thaw and get some stupid ass knockback? Cool. Phew, well, that's not really ingredient-related, so what now? Oh, but that perhaps might be. Let's get them both in frame. Perfect. That ought to do it! Oh yeah, there's the gate. This has got to be it. I mean, this is like where it is on the map, right? So, all right, bones. Oh, this dude I can slash. I thought they were like three bone boys, but I was mistaken. Oh shit, I can get this dude, right? Or this dude? <laughs> There's so many lines to draw, hold on, slow down. Okay, this guy's got like one of these guys left, so... Now I can draw a line through you, and then... That ought to do it. Nice. Still no dragon fangs, oddly enough. Still haven't quite figured out how to trigger those.
Whew. Dead hands. Oh, let's get the hell out of here now. Fucking took me long enough. Well, I definitely can't say that I expected any of this to go down, that's for sure. I thought it was just gonna be a, a fun little festival, and there was gonna be some really creepy Isu and stuff, but... Dungeon, I guess, sure. Let's see, so I, get, I just gotta like jump down to like the very bottom floor now, right? Oof! And also find the cooking room, which is where? Where's this dude? There he is. Oh, yeesh. What do we have here? You brought back more than one of the secret ingredients, did I? Wow, you're good. Oh, I thought he I, he means like all four. I thought he meant like more than one of just a single item. I just know you make the perfect assistant. <laughs> it was nothing. Anyways, we're kind of in a hurry. You offered. Literally everything on the list. Hee hee hee. With each secret ingredient I add, my love for Lord Orochi shall deepen. Okay, now I have all the secret ingredients. It's time to finish off my special dish. Feast your eyes on my fabulous skills, darling. With a true heart and tender loving care, I shall prepare a symphony of demonic goodness. <laughs> How come he's making crow noises? I guess there really isn't a difference between a crow noise and a toad noise, is there? Ta-da. Introducing the crown jewel of appetizers, guaranteed to bring out maximum flavor in any course. I give you my ultimate masterpiece. Don't keep slime like a goulash. This shall make that main course kushi. Taste 1,000 times better! Please, ma'am! Well, we mustn't keep bored of Orochi waiting, sweetheart. Go to the Great Hall and ring the Epicurean bell. That shall herald the completion of my appetizer masterpiece. The sound of that melodious bell shall draw open the curtain on Lord Orochi's bloody feast. Ni. Annie be like, K. Emma the Rasu be like, So what does this accomplish exactly? Just got a peach? Do I attack the bell? Okay, I thought I had to do like something fancy, but okay, that works too. Or, hold on now. Well, I'm out of ideas. I rang it out. Let it ring as many times as Lord Orochi has heads. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. That was eight, right? Okay. I was worried if I did it like too many times, and then I was gonna fuck something up, but we're good. to be on that thing. I really enjoy picturing these imps just like as toads. Equally demonic. Equally demonic. Oh, it's just me. I don't know why, but I will take it. Me. Okay, Amy. This is it. Are we really, like, gonna fight Orochi, though? That, like... This is got Okay, that's... Okay. Throne room, scary. Dick face. Are you insane? Oh, come on, please. I mean, I want to take a peek at Lord Orochi's throne room, too. Come on, just this once. What, what, what? We're just Lord Orochi's lowly enemies. Lord Orochi will surely... Gobble us up if we barge in during dinner. Oh, no. You really want to see the throne room that bad? Yeah, I really want to go. I should- I shouldn't do this. I always tell chat to shut up when the possibility for these things arises. 
I can see that you won't change your mind. I'll take you to the throne room if you want to go that bad. After all, I was born to operate this elevator. Weren't we all? The thirst is coming from inside the stream. <laughs> Fuck, I, I had it that time though. Leave me alone. Uh oh, not the ominous throat singing. What do you mean it's scary? You didn't even see that much. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Unless he, like, helped the other guys carry it up? I don't know. This isn't that scary. It's just a little throat singing. Okay, that's, that's a little scary. Oh shit, this is the place that was in that cutscene, wasn't it? When the blade was drawn. Oh, the bell of the ball. <laughs> I can't get over these fucking close-ups. Emmy, look over there. Dun dun dun. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop. Oh, I'm gonna ruin this very good moment. So if they have eight heads, then how do they decide which one gets to gobble? Whoa, shit. Oh, that's right! I remember early on in the game I was like, oh, was that building a part of the body? And it is. Also, goodbye, PP. Oh, God, what voice did I give this again? Oh, wild gods of the heavens. No, I don't know. Destroy the child. Corrupt them all. <laughs> 100 years have passed since you imprisoned me here. How is it you have come back after perishing and turning into stone? Number 15, Orochi. <laughs> Number 8. I really can't think of anything. I completely forgot what voice I used for this. Oh, I think I just used generic Ganon, Ashner, whatever villain voice. I've heard enough. Bottoms up, big guy. Oh shit, they like roared at each other. Oh, I don't know how to fucking do this. <laughs> Do I happen to have like eight abilities and these have to like utilize all of them? Cause that would be cool. Eh. No, that just gets me items. And yeah, there's like a wind dude, there's like a flower dude. Oof! Well that's no good. Get out of there, Abby! Oh wait, cursed zone? Why? Okay, it's only temporary. I see. So what exactly do I do here? Is there, like, an order to this? Do I just gotta, like, find a way to counter all of them? Oh shit, well... That's a start. Or is it? Just in a cutscene. That cheater has a barrier up! Oh, uh, What are we gonna do now? Any bright ideas, Furball? And by Furball, he means chat. Great, I lose. This is what I signed up for! Run, Kushi, run! Fuck off! No! I was begging this not to happen. And here we are. Here we are, burning. Susano! You came! I knew you'd come! What about me? I did all the hard work. Have no fear, Susano is here! Shut the fuck up, Vicente! 
Oh, Roachie and I have a score to settle. No, you do not. Go home. We were doing fine. I hope he gets gobbled up. He's not much of a maiden, but he'll do in a pinch. How do I even do the, the voice? Let's see. You Step one to villain voice. You take a sip. Long have I awaited your coming, O descendant of Nagi. I don't know. That's the best I can do. It's good enough. Now we shall fulfill this burning desire which has consumed us. The descendants of Nagi have kept me imprisoned here for a hundred years. Have they? Best character, Waka Snells. Roach, please leave. Yet it is that accursed bloodline which shall unleash my true power. Oh, is he gonna gobble? Please do, go ahead. A pact between Nagi's descendant and I, the great Orochi, shall deliver unto me dark powers beyond all comprehension. So which, which head is in charge here? Because like the other heads are like right behind. Which one of them is, is talking right now? Do they all talk at once? Let us seal the blood pact for all eternity. I got a lot of questions about the anatomy of this creature. What the heck is Serpent Breath talking about? I don't know, I thought that was pretty straightforward. I love uh, fucking Okami Amaterasu's face right now. A blood pact with Sosana will unleash Orochi's true power. Oh, he who seeks power, your first chance slipped through your grasp. Did it? But now the time has come for us to seal our eternal bond. Speak the words, I wish darkness upon the world. Isn't this kind of how like the game started too? Honor that prayer to me and seal our blood pact. See, I told you he was the bad guy all along. You too shall gain dark powers beyond all comprehension. Orochi's trying to tempt Susano. I bet that sneaky serpent was the one giving Pops those nightmares. Now, utter the prayer. Let the words come from deep within. Like from the belly? You want me to throat sing it? Recite the words of a blood pact. Also, I'm here too, still. Oh, I shall! Fuck. <laughs> I am the descendant of Nagi. Behold, Tosono, the greatest warrior who ever lived. Hear me, vile serpent who would seek to harm a helpless woman. Can he leave already? The slow text school doesn't help either. Feel the wrath of your sword! Did he die? Is he gone yet? No, that worked? God damn it. Foolish beast, did you really think you could deceive me? The only pact for me is the one that comes with my bloodline. Is Susano getting a serious amount? Can he leave? <laughs> if it is my fate to fall battling evil, then so be it. Oh, so be it indeed. Please. I seek help from neither god nor demon. The heroic bloodline of Nagi is all I require to slay you. Oh, so I'm still here! Ex exclamation mark! Sounds like you'd rather have Orochi leave, I mean win. Both? Glittering gold sake. Is that a purification sake, Ami? Oh. Susano and Kushi made a miracle happen. Did they? I'm not following exactly. Time to work your magic, Ami. I mean, I still don't really understand what I had to do before, though. Your stupid face doesn't scare us, you big worm. Quick, Emmy, the sake. Oh. Okay, I get it. But I gotta avoid these. These baby boys! These baby roaches. Yeah, when they do the roar, maybe that's what I gotta do. Oh, he's got my limp. <laughs> It's working! Keep it coming, Emmy. I gotta repeat that like seven times though, I don't know. Whoa! Oh wait, do I have to like do it multiple times to each head? Oh, I guess I do. Is my tail on fire? <laughs> okay, so that's one down. Don't stop now, let's get the other heads too. This is the stupid... <laughs> I don't... I don't know. It's a bad idea for- I mean, not a bad idea, but just, given the tone of the game, this feels like a little bit goofy. Hmm. 
Whoa! Can I do that? I guess. I don't know. I'm hitting them, but it doesn't seem to be working. I think I have to, yeah, do that when they do the war. Do the war. I guess that's what I gotta do? It doesn't seem like hitting them does anything, so I'll just stick with this. I mean, that is what Ethan said to do, so... Oh, that, ch that chases me, gotcha. Oh shit, I'm actually on low health right now. I might want to take a look at... I've literally never healed before, how do I do this? <laughs> oh boy. Where, where, where are my things? That's equipment, tools... Attack power defense. That actually sounds very like a very handy item. Three units. Ten units. Let me use this first. I think I actually have room for like an upgrade too. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I guess I gotta start being a lot more careful here, huh? Yep, there it is. Wait, they all fell. God, I wish that were me. <laughs> do I gotta, like, go up the... I don't understand. I guess I do. I guess that's exactly what it's telling me. The bell! <laughs> can, can I not? <laughs> there we go. Oh, this is how it takes damage. That's cool. Well, that's much better than having to get, like all eight heads to drink, like, 16 times total. Oh boy. Get out of there, Emmy! Phew. One more should do the trick. Can I, like, do anything with these babies? Okay, thank you. Oh shit. Drink up. Whew. Okay, so that's like halfway through already. Unless you have to get like more heads this time, but I think we're good. Oh! Whew. Oh shit, not even. Wait, does the health refill though? Do you have to do it like all in one go? Oh no. Oh, I see. It's not over yet. So does that just mean the heads are vulnerable now? Was that like the, the generator? Well, let's see. When you make them like drink enough, they're like completely immobilized. So maybe now I can actually like start attacking them. Looks like that berry is finally dissolved, and if that's the case, then you're free to finish- well, okay. <laughs> that's exactly what I said. Oh shit, the next head is down too, I'm wasting time. Come on, come on! Yeah, lines seem to take a pretty big chunk out of it, so I might have to use a couple more of those than I was hoping to. Shit. Oh man. Huh? This is like a lot to juggle at once. Holy shit. Oh, but now this head's gonna go down, but now this head's down too. Okay, that one's actually gone, I think. No, it's not. Wait, yes it is. I can't fucking handle this. I'm not able to draw a line into it from here though. It falls in time. Okay. That ought to do it. Nope, apparently not. Okay, there we go. I got a jam for now. Good luck with the Rochi dude. Alright, thank you, Vicente. Thanks for shopping by. For shopping by. That would be Tyler, but Tyler just did.
Oh, line! Line time! There we go. Now I'm actually keeping pace. I was worried about that I would, like, keep running into that same situation where I, like, have to handle, like, three heads at once because they don't finish them all in one go, but... It's definitely possible to do. You just gotta, like, have a clean run of it. And also not have the other heads whirl in the middle of your attack. Okay, hurry up. Fall down. So is there anything else I can do with the heads, or is it, like, just the line attack that works? Because that's the one that, like, comes to mind immediately, but I guess I could use, like, bombs and stuff, too, if I really wanted to. But then it becomes a question of, like, how helpful is that, really? Okay, so how many are left? One, two, three, four. Okay, we're halfway through. Come on, come on, come on. I was worried a little bit earlier, honestly, that you... Because it seems like each of these heads kind of have, like, their own unique attacks and everything like that. And at first it seemed like you weren't actually required, or at least, like... I don't know, it seemed like, at first, you could just, like, go through the whole boss battle without, like, even seeing what all of them do, but... It's cool that... Like, this is the thing, it's like... Sure, maybe it's a little more time consuming, but I appreciate that I actually have the... Whoa, that's actually a cool ability. But the Sake, what has he done? Do I gotta do that? What's this all about? Okay. Did that work? Yes, it did. With no spoilers, the battle is only the beginning of the game. Oh, of course it is. Was this all still tutorial? <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I would not put it past this game to make the like the supposed final boss the tutorial. I don't know, but this seems pretty climactic to me. Oh no wait, I think his head is just down. Okay, let's move on. Also, hello irrelevant someone, welcome to the chat! Whoa! Hey, come on, do your thing. Yeah, that thing. Okay. Slurp it up! <laughs> this is so fucking stressful, the timer is like so tight for this. Okay, lines though? I gotta use those more often, because that's like the key to getting these done, like, on cycle. Okay, next one, next one, next one! So which one is this exactly? Is this like a bomb boy? Because <sighs> at this moment, you've only got nine brush techniques. Oh, only nine! Um, actually, in the full game, there's 300 brush techniques. Okay, is that the last one? Actually, that's the first of 300 phases! Please leave! <laughs> the time has come! Oh, sacred moon of the heavens, come forth and pierce this darkness! Bear witness to the beast's demise upon my trusty sword, Toiboku! Did he say moon? Right, the legend says the moon was shining when Nagi slew Orochi. Wait, is this like our flashback? Oh. Uh... Yeah, okay, I get the idea. Do your thing, Amy. I would've thought the sun, maybe, might be more helpful as far as light sources go, but okay, sure, if you want to do the moon, your choice. Yeah, for, for a second I thought I didn't do it. It seems like it hung a little bit too long. It's like, nope, you got it wrong. Gotta start the whole boss fight over. Wow. Oh! That's cute. It's like Pikmin. Susano style blade of truth! Good! Okay. If I fuck this up, I swear to god. Well, I'll have to do this eight times. Never! What if he just said something that wasn't an eight-word phrase, and he, like, had to, like, awkwardly find a way to fit all the words in? Two! Two! Susano's art isn't as beautiful as- Oh! It's not over yet! There's one more left. Finish it off, Amy. Let me- <laughs> How come I don't get to do any of the cool shit? No, Fido! I don't need your help this time! Uh, 
Uh, Susana's arc isn't as beautiful as Eason's at the end of the game, and I am not spoiling that shit. Well, I hate both characters, so great. Celestial Cleaver! Oh, he's doing that fucking- Whoa, shit! Okay, I will concede that that was kind of cool. Fuck! Yo! Dearest Kushi, please! <laughs> fucking cut it out! Just you devote your life to sake, brewing the way of the sword is all I know. This text scrolling, I am losing my goddamn mind. Yet I failed, for I unleashed that foul beast upon the world. Yeah, really, Susana's the one who fucked all of this up. How come he suddenly- I allowed evil to cloud my judgment. Too bad, still your fault. Who am I to claim the right to wield the sword now? Alas, there is no reason for me to live. Oh, I agree, actually. Please follow through. Oh, s oh I'm sorry. Oh, Susana, why do you look so serious? Come on, laugh like you normally do. Looking like that is what makes monsters turn up. Yo, turn up! So come on, love! I like you do it, you Look at the fucking <laughs> graveyard we're lying in now. Can we leave, maybe? What is this? A woe? Oh, is this for me? Finally. Divine instrument, Sumagari. Hold and release. What do you mean, hold and release button? What button? For charged attack with Orochi's glaive. Come on, did I do it right? Oh! <laughs> oh, black and white. And so it came to pass that 100. That was Mr. Orange's original voice, not the Luigi one. And so it came to pass that 100 years after its first defeat, the dreadful Orochi succumbed to Amaterasu and Susano's onslaught. As the foul breath left Orochi's twisted body, the curse lifting, a powerful sword known as Sumag- That's some cool fucking artwork. Sumagari appeared. It was reborn form of Sukiyomi, which had been consumed by Orochi. Eason has the biggest redemption in gaming history to the point Capcom and Platinum Games, originally Clover Games who made this game, are still trying to beat his arc and redemption. Does he learn to respect women? Because if not, I'm not interested. <laughs> Armed with this new blade, Amaterasu prepared for further adventure. At that moment, a mysterious evil force emerged from Orochi's corpse. Splitting off in all directions and flying off into the distant sky, let me guess, there's eight more dungeons. At that time, no one had any inkling as to just what that force was. The truth is, the real calamity and chaos had yet to visit the world. Oh, great. Now I see what people were saying this game's like 30 hours. But for the time being, Kamiki found itself enjoying a new era of peace. Our story, however, is far from over. In fact, it is just beginning. Of course. Of course it is. That's right, Annie. We're just getting started. Wait, could they hear the narrator? <laughs> I mean, we can't let a great adventure simply end like this. Can't we, though? Now give me one of those famous victory howls of yours. No, I will wink. $350 penalty. Actually, you are right. There's eight more dungeons in it. Oh, I fucking jinxed myself, didn't I? Oh. It took me 36 hours to beat this game casually. Oh, lord, what have I gotten myself into? <sighs> now I'm the one howling. Whoops. At last. Whoops. Is this, like, Fusei or something? At last, the time has come. The unsettable bonds between heaven and earth. Waka, the situation has grown urgent. <gasps> is he a bad guy? If this is the reason Roach says that I shouldn't like Waka, it's only gonna make me like him more. He must return to the city at once. Très bien. Amaterasu, you may have slain Orochi this time, but do not assume it will be so easy the next.
I thought he was kind of just like kind of a rival, like maybe like an anti-hero or something like Oh, Dragon Thing, nice. But oh no, if he's a bad guy, I'm weak. If you're having fun, who cares? My schedule? <laughs> Check out that starry sky. I know they're up there somewhere, my furry friend. Those constellations of the brush gods are just waiting to be found. Oh! That's nice. It took me 60 plus, but that's because I was doing all the side quests and goofing off. Well, that must have been one of Thomas' fireworks. Wonder if the villagers already found out that Orochi's dead. Oh, I can fast forward the text now, okay. All I know, it must be the festival. They just started the annual Kamiki Festival. Oh yeah! Time to party for a ball. Back to the village. Hurry! Can Eason maybe, like, get kicked out, though? Because, like, I don't know. He already expressed some very malicious intent about what he plans to do with this party. Also, Waka, Eason, and Amaterasu have their redemptions right next to each other. Uh, I'm sorry. Amy did nothing wrong. She does not need redemption. Also, the music here is really, really nice. Oh, it's so pretty. It's wonderful. Oh! Puppy. This is nice. But what do I do now? <laughs> oh, wait, is there like a circle further down the road? I think that's what I'm seeing. Oh yeah, we probably have to go back to the tree or something like that. This is some nice ass music though, wow. Oh, this is good shit. Okay, this is the right way though, right? Okay, cool. Or not, actually. But I'll talk to Mr. Orange anyways. Oh, how wonderful. A truly joyous occasion. Susano defeated Orochi and saved Kushi. That was me. It was as if the legend of old had appeared right before our eyes. I had feared Susano would bring the dishonor upon his heroic lineage. And he has. But when I saw him as he dashed out of his door in his armor to save Kushi, he sure was the spinning image of the great Nagi. How happy I was to see him like that. <laughs> Of course, I've never glimpsed Nagi in the flesh myself, but... Say, what did that Susano get to now? I was about to dance with Konohana instead of presenting the usual offering of 8 beer vacation sake. Anyway, it's all his fault. He squandered all the sacred sake. Yes. That's right, Mr. Orange. Express the rage. Be mad at him. Right, I keep messing this up. The right way to the... It's down here. That's right. I might as well get to make that turn. Oh, nice. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, so we'll probably head over here, and if there's anything that we gotta go through, then we'll switch games. I don't know, there's something going on here. Oh, no. <laughs> Great Mother Okami Abitarasu. I'm filled with unbridled joy at your safe return. It would appear that the final chapter of Oroji has been written. The entire village is in your debt. Please accept their thanks. That said, what a splendid evening. Even I'm feeling it. No! Hideki Kamiya, what are you doing? Thank you. Was that really all I had to do? Okay, great. Wait, do I gotta cut these things though? No. Oh, great, now she's back. <laughs> what a joyous evening. I find myself to please stop! Stop! Camilla! I see what you're up to! I can't believe he's done this. Also, that's not the last of Orochi. You fight him two more times. Okay, well, that's spoilers. I gotta fucking switch games before I get spoiled more. Anyways, that was Okami for tonight. Thank you for watching. Uh, coming up next, a teensy bit of Sonic Forces, so if you're interested in that, please hold.